Hello, I'm Michael Webster, a volunteer for the Leicestershire and Rutland Wildlife Trust, and I'm fortunate enough to live on the Charmwood Forest. In fact, behind me, nestled amongst those trees, is Lee Meadows Nature Reserve. This is the Overscroft Valley, and just a short walk away from here, I can easily reach both the Overscroft Nature Reserve and a much smaller one called Rocky Plantation. In this sad time that we're living at the moment, we're being asked to keep our distance from people and only go out when absolutely necessary. Every morning I take a walk down into the Overscroft Valley and I'd like you to come with me. It's springtime after all, and whilst we're in lockdown, nature is one aspect of life that can bring joy into our world, whether it be the song of a bird or just a simple flower. So come with me and let's just see what we can find. Morning. Hello, morning. Now this is a completely different view of the reserve than what it was like in February. Then the brook was a raging torrent and the whole of the Lee Meadows in the lower parts was flooded. This is Lee Meadows, and although it is surrounded by trees, in fact the value as a nature reserve is because of its ancient grassland. It has never had any chemicals put on it. It has never been ploughed since about the 13th century. And because of that, the wildflowers are fantastic. Now it's a little bit early at the moment for the flowers to be out, but there are some spring flowers. The blackthorn is in blossom, the tiny flowers of dog's mercury nestling in the hedgerows. And of course, over there, bright sunny stars of celandines. The reserve is bisected by a stream, the Overscroft Brook, bounded by alders and oak. So that's where I'm going to go down to, first of all, just to see what we can find. Oh, a mandarin duck has just flown overhead. And you know what, the mandarin ducks love these trees behind me, older trees, because they're right above the water, right above the stream itself. So when the chicks hatch out of the holes in these trees, which they do occasionally, um, there's about three or four pairs in the Overscroft Valley is just flying around and over there as well. It's great birds. Um, the actual chicks fall out of the holes in the nest and into the, directly into the stream itself. This beautiful little brook is one of the most unpolluted in the whole of Leicestershire. One of the reasons for that is because, of course, there are no chemicals ever been put on the land, so nothing leaches into the stream at all, and nothing leaches from agricultural land up in the top of Overscroft Valley, because basically Overscroft Valley is, is not farmed in that traditional sense at all. Along the banks, right the way from here, right through to Newtown, Linford, and into Braggart Park, grow older trees 
And older trees are very special. They grow, they love to have their feet in water. And in fact, they're roots in water as well. This is one of the rootlets from an older tree. They grow deep into the stream itself, right through the bed of the water. Along these little rootlets are nitrogen fixing nodules. So the function of the older tree is both to purify the water and filter it at the same time. Well, that's a fancy looking nest box if ever I've seen one. I think it's for barn owls. And you know what, with all of the rough pasture and grassland in the Overscroft Valley and the Lee Meadows in particular, this is a great habitat for small animals. Things like short-tailed field voles, which those birds love to feed on. Well, that's my hour's walk finished. I hope you've enjoyed me connecting you up with a little bit of nature from the Overscroft Valley. Stay safe. Mm -hmm.